Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Before I do get into this video, I'd just like to say there is a giveaway live on the channel right now. Because we had a thousand subs, I'm giving away this Arc Trooper 3 pack. But you do have to be sub to enter in the giveaway. And uh, basically, after you subscribe, all you have to do is comment down below on my giveaway video. So I will link that in the description and pin it in the card right now. All you have to do is sub and comment on that video, and you'll be entered. It's that simple. So if you do want to enter, go and do that, and on to the video. Hey guys, so in this video we're going to be talking about the top 10 figures that I need to buy. And basically that's just uh, 10 figures that I missed out on originally, or 10 figures that I just need to get in the Black Series that I don't have already. By the way, there are in no particular order, so uh, they're just 10 figures that I want to buy pretty much. So starting with number 1 is the Hoth Rebel Trooper. This is one that I've seen for quite a while now and that I've been kind of wanting to pick up. And uh, like... With the two faces, it's just really cool, and the different combinations. I definitely need to pick up at least one. And, uh, yeah, it's just been one I've been kind of procrastinating for picking up, and uh, I'm definitely excited to actually get it eventually. Next up is just the early Stormtroopers. And I'm just talking about, like, the Sand Troopers with the different pauldrons. I know they did, like, a, um, a uh, red pauldron, a black pauldron, a white pauldron, a... Uh, like the Sand Trooper pauldron, the Red Stormtrooper itself. There's so many different of those older Stormtroopers I need to pick up that I really want to and just haven't got around to it. I know there's also like the uh, Stormtrooper and Dewback 2-pack vehicle set thing that I also really want to get as well that, again, it's pretty expensive on eBay. It's just one that I need to pick up. Next up is Island Journey Ray, And the main reason I want this is I do have the deluxe uh, Luke Skywalker from The Last Jedi. And that actually has a little island uh, like display stand. And I want to get the Island Journey Ray to put on it so, like, she's handing him the lightsaber. And I've been using just the Jedi Training Ray, which are two different figures, and I need to get the Island Journey Ray to actually put on with that. Next up is Sabine from the Rebels line. And uh, I missed out on the original one with this, and I never actually pre-ordered the new version in the new Rebels box. And it's one that I really like. I like Sabine quite a bit, and I do have quite a few Mandalorians, so I think it'd be really cool to get her with the rest of those. And it's just one that I need to pick up. I haven't got around to it. I know it's more of, like, an online exclusive kind of thing so eventually I'm gonna try to go and pick her up. Here's one that I really want to get but it is kind of raised up in price through the last few months but it's the Gene Ocean Battle Droid that kind of came out with like the Kit Fisto Obi-Wan wave and I actually found most of that wave in GameStop one time but it didn't have the Gene Ocean Battle Droid it was the only figure from that wave that wasn't there and that was one that I really wanted to get and I just missed out on. I want to get at least two though because I do have the heavy a battle droid from the gaming grades line and I kinda wanted that to go with it and plus I just have a lot of clones but no battle droids to go with them so that is one figure that I do really need to get eventually I am hoping that they kinda re-release it with the uh, 20th anniversary of uh, Attack of the Clones coming up here in a few years hopefully they re-release it then and um, so you know I don't have to pay those expensive prices next up is just uh, 40th anniversary figures uh, there's so many of the Empire Strikes Back figures that I need to buy so I think the only Two that I have is the um, Boba Fett and then the at, -AT driver, and I'm not going to get all of them, but there's a few I definitely want, like the uh, Snow Trooper, uh, maybe like a Lando. I'm waiting for that to go on sale because I have seen it in quite a few like stores that is just, it's a... It's definitely a peg warmer, and I'm waiting for it to go on sale, but I know I definitely want to get, like, Bespin Luke as well, and uh, maybe even the Leia and Han as well while I'm at it. Just a few of those like main characters that I don't have yet that I think would be uh, good to get with this 40th anniversary line. Here's a big one. I actually passed up on this figure in a GameStop about a year ago. I saw him in store, and I'm like, ooh, I really want this. And I'm like, you know what? I'll just wait until next time. And it was the biggest mistake probably in the Black Series collecting that I've had so far. And it's General Grievous. I saw him in a GameStop, and I didn't pick him up. And now he's pretty much skyrocketed in price. And uh, they, he did have a small re-release uh, a few months ago, and I just didn't go on it. I got Commander Wolf instead, and I didn't get uh, General Grievous, and now I'm hoping that I can find him for a decent price. And here is a figure that many people consider the best figure of 2020, and it's the Clone Wars line Cad Bane. figure that I've been wanting to buy, never seen him in stores, and uh, it's just a, it's a really cool figure that I want and I haven't been able to see in stores or online really. And it's one that I want to get, I just gotta find a good opportunity to buy it. And, uh, next up is one of the, uh, probably my favorite Black Series figure of all time that I don't actually have, and it is the San Diego Comic Con 20, actually it was 2018 or 2019. Kenner Boba Fett, and um, I, I'm a massive Boba Fett fan. He's my favorite character in all of Star Wars, and I saw that go up at uh, San Diego Comic Con uh, 2019. I couldn't pick it up because I couldn't go, and uh, it's one I really want, and it's so expensive online. It's just one that I, I need to get. 
I'd love to have it in my collection, but again, the outrageous prices are just so high, and I do hope they re-release it, but with it being a San Diego Comic-Con, I highly doubt it. And then last up on the list, I know this has been a shorter video, I'm just going through some figures that I need to pick up, but uh, this is actually the Order 66 uh, four-pack from the uh, Entertainment Earth. I believe it was a exclusive to Entertainment Earth, but yeah, I, I want all four of those clones. Those are the last four clones I need to complete all my Phase 2 clones in my collection, and again, they're so expensive. They go for about $100 each separately, and around $400 together, and I just want all four of them. I have Commander... I have pretty much all of the uh, clone commanders for those actual figures, like Rex, Cody, Fox, and Gree, but I don't have those actual, like, the clone troops to go with them, and I've been trying, I've I've seen, like, one of the uh, 440 seconds for, like, $60, and I passed on it. It's one of those where, like, I want it, but I'm not willing to pay $60 for a, a figure that's loose. And, uh, you know, it's one of those I just hope they re-release it. There's been a rumor of them re-releasing the 501st Trooper, and I'm hoping that comes true. But as of right now, we have no confirmation of that yet and um, no actual re-release. So as of right now, they do stay at their expensive prices. But it is, that is pretty much the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Comment down below if, if there's any figures that you guys missed out on and really want. And, uh, yeah, hit that like button if you did enjoy and subscribe if you are new to the channel. There is still about a week left to enter in the giveaway, so... Go and check out that video in the description, and I'll see you guys in the next video.